I also like to surround myself with beauty as much as possible because the world is very toxic and I have been exposed to a lot of toxicity in my life. I don't talk about all of the trauma because it's over. I worked on it, I went on. I'm at this stage where I'm at now. But social media can be a very ugly place with a lot of uh, dysfunction, passive aggressiveness. You know, when you're a small channel like we are, we don't have to worry about it too much. But even within our community, there are people that either misunderstand or want to take a swipe or just really all in all out expect you to be a certain way and quite frankly I've thought about saying screw the channel I'm done I don't need it but I do because I enjoy making videos I enjoy communicating I love my show with Jennifer it enhances our lives and hopefully enhances the few people that we do reach out and touch and also talking to the people I bring on it's it's gives me a sense of accomplishment along with the sense of accomplishment I have here at this place I live and I'm so fortunate and privileged to live but I've got a thick skin and I worked in 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 a dog eat dog academic situation for a long time and some of these people on social media it's just okay it bothers me for a day but I certainly am not gonna live with these people rent free in my head and I try to live by the credence of not hurting people I like to pick on and break the balls of the Heartland Institute or the hypocrisy of um, people that don't follow science but I certainly don't do it to my friends and there's a lot of them in our so-called you know doomosphere and uh that's just the way it is. I have a great amount of respect for basically everyone until they disrespect me. First farmer's market of the year is teeny, teeny. It's actually a gorgeous day for the farmer's market, which is very small here. It's a tiny little farmer's market, but it's quite quite lovely and it's nice to get out and it's not far for me to get out so that's good What keeps me sane during these times when I know full well what's ahead for the planet and humanity is my current situation of just keeping up with life around a small homestead, minus animals, except for cats, rescue cats. Today, amongst other things, is getting the green stalk planted that Scott sent and I'm doing some different things to it. Okay, so I am experimenting with the green stalk, which was a gift from Scott. And I'm putting in lettuce and cucumbers, even though I have a million cucumbers. And I already planted the first row, I only have a three row, with potatoes. And I'm going to see what happens. So that's planted. Now I'm going to do the next two. Okay, so I've got cucumber in the top. And I've got banana peppers, sweet banana peppers, more cucumber, more cucumber. I've got cucumber in the bottom. Second tier, I've got celery. We're going to, this is all experiment celery I don't know if it'll grow here more cucumbers and celery and then the whole bottom is potatoes and <laughs> we'll see what happens. so because my deck is falling apart and it's kind of scary 
and I can't get him here. Nobody here to fix it yet. <laughs> I'm going to put plywood over the broken wood. Got the drill, the T25 bit the proper nails for the plywood to go through to the other wood and we are good to go. I drilled them in at the edges, but I did not want to, I don't know, I don't want to do the metal. Maybe a, get a cheap indoor outdoor type thing or whatever. This one, absolutely, I have to look downstairs for another um, board. This is total shit here. Pulling out all kinds of stuff off the property and Alora, say hi Alora. She's going to get some rocks from the creek and we are going to line the beds with wood that's right here. And there's more of it. I have more of it. And um, yeah, line the beds and with rocks and wood. The flower art. Very sweaty today. Feels like we went from freezy to August. Hmm. Yeah. They're gonna be pretty. That will be for the pole beans. And there was a hole and I had to cover it so anybody that came over, including me, would not break their leg. So I covered it up with landscaping cloth and rock and got this little bridge which I'm going to paint actually today or tomorrow and voila for June 2023 the beginning the projects the life of the disabled able gardener because trust me this is not easy but I do it because none of us should give up on anything